The idea for this video project was to expand on my usual spins or my favorite places to go, but put that into one spin and do it in one day. And um, that's definitely been achievable with this new bike. We are in Jouse Woods, um, one of my favorite spots to ride. And um, yeah, first proper day on the e-bike and it's been insane. This is my first ever e-bike. Um, I've never properly owned one. I've never even properly ridden one. Um, so it's been really enjoyable. With the new bike, I wanted to try replicate basically one of my big summer rides that I'd only do when the weather's good. So I wanted to replicate that on the e-bike in the dead of winter in cold conditions and uh, see how it worked out. Instead of you know hitting up one or two mountains and that being a big spin, um, I can leave the car at home and I can cycle to uh, and from about three or four different peaks. It's a game changer. Even for somebody that's fit, and it's my job to be fit, it does so much for you. It's incredibly stable, and in boost mode, the acceleration's insane. Like, it just instantly puts a smile on your face. It's crazy. There's climbs I, you know, I really struggle on um, during the spin, and uh, not in the e-bike. With the e-bike, you know, I'd have one or two gears to spare, and I'd be floating up it. I mean, you're still getting a workout, but it just makes everything that bit easier and also less intimidating. This particular climb, it's definitely like really spicy on my like big spins. If I bring this mountain into the mix, uh, I'd only choose this climb if I'm feeling good and it's dry, because you just can't get up it without dabbing. Um, so first time on an e-bike, like got up a first go, and uh, no, no problems at all. My favorite aspect of the bike is descending. It's so controlled, it's really safe feeling, and I definitely, I think that like, I can actually go quicker on quite a few tracks on this bike than I can on my normal enduro bike. So for me, that's been like the biggest surprise is how good it handles and, and how fun it is to ride. Yeah, considering the amount of rain we've had since January, um, Honestly, pretty decent conditions. I would have expected a lot worse. And yeah, like incredibly steep tracks, so it's just shown how capable it is. There's a little double on a track I know well, but then coming in a lot quicker on the e-bike, I realized that there's a landing ramp a bit further out. So therefore it goes into the category of being a triple. First go, I cased the absolute bejesus out of it. Oh, that didn't work. It's my shot again though. A little serious case. I kind of knew I was going to case I just did anyway. Nonetheless, I went back up, tried it a second time. The point is it opened my eyes up to the possibility of new lines on a track that I know. So, I mean, for that, I have to take my hat off to it. It's, it's crazy. So we've been out for quite a few hours and I realized, you know, we were getting closer to uh, 6 p.m., which is a key Instagram posting time for me. Right, my turn. How do you feel about a video on me uh, on the little phone for Insta? Yeah, no bother. None of this landscape stuff. Okay. Portrait. Okay. Hey. Okay. Let me see it. Okay. Film this way? Yes. Okay. Portrait. I'll give it a go. You're good, man. So yeah, I had to run over to you and get you to uh, <laughs> video a clip for me, which you did very well. So yeah, well done. <laughs> yeah, well, really proud of the project. Um, I'm really grateful that Polygon wanted me to be their guy to bring this bike to the masses and show it to the public. I'm delighted I have it. It's, it's part of my arsenal now. It's definitely gonna be used a few times a week. Everyone at Polygon rides bikes and that's essential if you want to build a great bike or make any good mountain biking product. It's an incredible tool for multiple jobs. I think it's been a passion project for all of us to now see come to fruition and work out as well as it has.